capitalization rules with Cooper the Capitalization Cop. Hello, and welcome to Tutoring Hour. I'm Cooper the Capitalization Cop. Teaching capitalization rules is my job. Hi, Cooper. What's with you, Matt? My teacher says I need to learn capitalization. Do you know what capitalization is, Cooper? Can you help me with it? Oh, yes. I can help you with that, Matt. I'm Cooper, the capitalization cop. Teaching capitalization rules is my job. Capitalization means writing a word with its first letter in uppercase and the other letters in lowercase. You cannot randomly capitalize words in a sentence. There are a number of rules about specific words that need to start with a capital letter in sentences. Can you tell me what the rules are? Sure thing. But before I do, I want you to remember the code. M-I-N-T-S. Mints? What is that? That's the basic guide to learning capitalization. Can you please explain that further? Certainly. The M in mints stands for months. Capitalize the months of the year and the days of the week. That's our first rule. Let's take a look at this example. I adopted Max on the last Sunday of March. Sunday is the name of a day, and March is the name of a month. We need to capitalize them both. So our sentence will look like, I adopted Max on the last Sunday of March. That's simple. Yes, it is. What does I stand for? I stands for the pronoun I used when a person refers to themselves. Capitalize the pronoun I, no matter where it appears in a sentence. That's our second rule. Let me explain with a sentence. Max and I play in the park every day. Did you see the pronoun I? Of course I did. We need to capitalize it. The sentence will now look like, Max and I play in the park every day. Woohoo! Another easy rule. The next letter is N. What does it stand for? N denotes names. Capitalize names of people, places, and specific things. That's the rule number three. Absolutely. Let's take this sentence for example. My cousins Violet and Finn are coming from Atlanta. Violet and Finn are names of people, and Atlanta is the name of a place. We need to capitalize these words. Our new sentence will look like, my cousins Violet and Finn are coming from Atlanta. That's one more simple rule I can remember. What does T stand for? T is for titles. In titles of books, movies, etc. Capitalize the first word, last word, and important words. That's our rule four. Yes, it is. Hmm, look at this sentence. Violet gifted me the book, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. We must capitalize Charlie, factory, and chocolate. You should leave and and the uncapitalized. Our sentence should look like, Violet gifted me the book, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. That's perfect. What does S stand for? S is for the start of a sentence. Capitalize the first word in a sentence. That's our last rule. Let me give you an example. Reading books and playing with Max are my favorite pastimes. We must capitalize the first letter, mustn't we, Cooper? Yes, we must, Matt. Our sentence will then look like, reading books and playing with Max are my favorite pastimes. I'll quickly correct my sentences and show it to the teacher. First, let me capitalize the months and days, and then the pronoun I. Now, let me capitalize the names of people and places. The title of the book needs to be capitalized here. Can you see the sentences that start with lowercase letters? Here they are. I'm done. With mints, capitalization is very easy. Thank you so much, Cooper, for helping me with the capitalization rules. Oh, that's my job. Remember, I'm Cooper, the capitalization cop. Teaching capitalization rules is my job. Visit www.tutoringhour.com if you need worksheets to practice the capitalization rules. Smash the like and subscribe buttons right now. Thanks for watching.